In 1915, New York became the emblem of new art to many painters. The subject of the city, mixed with a playful outlook or surreal sensibility, became known as New York Dada. Joseph Stella was among the proponents of this new artistic strategy. Stella's interest in the new art is evidenced by a group of works produced between 1970 to 1922, declaring the mission of art was the expression of imagined visions. Swans, from 1917, is privately owned, and Song of the Nightingale, from 1918, is owned by MoMA. Both are pastels set in an enigmatic aura to nurture, reverie, and spiritual reflection. The mystery of night, undulating lines, and dense pastel colors create suggestive associations. The scene is set in the context of a modern architectural miracle, the Williamsburg entrance of the Brooklyn Bridge. Originally titled Night in 1917, as evidenced in its newspaper reproduction of 1918, the artist retitled it Swans, bowing to the shapes and natural grace of the birds and referencing the influence of Digliani, whose undulating forms he admired. These two pastels are the artist's declaration of the highest expression of modern art at the dawn of the 20th century. Swans was originally acquired by John Quinn, a lawyer and seminal collector of modernist work who helped to fund the 1913 Armory Show. It was later sold to another New York collector in whose family it has descended. It has remained unlocated until now.